when you're stuck at home. Stay calm and carry on cooking. This is Ori and, and this, this is Lisa. Lisa. And we are in the kitchen mm -hmm. today. Yeah. And what are we going to make? We're going to make pizza. So we're going to make with quinoa pizza base crust. So mm -hmm. first things first, we need a tray that we've lined with a silicone baking mat here. You can use parchment paper, but if you've got a mat which says my relationship with food, you yeah. can use that. So next thing we need is a bowl and a spoon. Okay, so we've got a spoon there, we've got a little nothing, baby spoon. With nothing in it. Yeah, but now we're going to add, what's some, this, Ori? Some eggs. Yeah, so do you want to pour it in, Ori? Yes. Pour it in. Good boy. Right, and now you're going to get your spoon there and you're going to do a bit of mixy mixy. So break up the yolk. So if anyone's at home, this is a really fun activity to do with kids, isn't it, Ori? Yeah. What are we doing? Mixy we're mixing mixy. Mixy. Mixing okay, and we've washed our hands. Yeah, so hands are all nice and clean. Okay, and then. We're going to add into here, we've got molten sea salt here, so we can leave the spoon in the bowl already, and as you've washed your hands, you can yeah. put your hands into my hand, and you can pinch out some salt, and you need to crush it between your index finger and your thumb like that, so you do that. It's a little bit sharp, that's it, you can do it from high like the salt ache. Brilliant. And another one. And just one more for luck, I think. Well done, Ori. And then we're going to add, you like doing this, so you can, I'll hold the bottom, you squeeze the top, a tiny one squeeze of black pepper. Brilliant, that's it. Okay, so we've got in here one egg, sea salt, black pepper, and now we're going to add in here some Italian herbs. And Ori, you're going to do the sprinkling. Yes. You sprinkle it in here. Okay, when Lisa tells you to stop. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. It's quite hard. Yeah, is it hard? Well, it's getting in. Well done. That's probably a quarter of a teaspoon. That's great. Well done. And then before we cook some quinoa, so this yeah. is the grain, quinoa. And like, like quinoa pizza. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. So I'm going to hold the bowl and you're going to push the quinoa into the bowl with the spoon. Good boy. And then use the spoon to get the bits at the top. So I'll just help you there. Brilliant. And then you're going to gently, because we don't want the quinoa to go everywhere, so hold that hand on the bowl so it keeps it together. And then very slowly, 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 mixy, mixy it together. And then we're going to mix it all in together. It's really good, or really gentle, because we want to have no quinoa on the table. We just want to keep the quinoa in the bowl. So that's it. Fold it over. We can say hello to anyone that's watching. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's watching. Okay, so mixy mixy together. And then we're gonna add in this is grated mozzarella cheese. If people are vegan, they can use vegan cheese. So we're gonna add that in. Mixy mixy. Well done. Alright, so and then I'm going to help you just for one second to mix it in a bit more. So all we've got in here, do you remember Ori what we've got in there? We first, we put eggs. Yes. Then we put, we put salt. salt. Yeah. I can't remember what the other one was called. After. Black pepper. Black pepper. And then Italian then herbs. Italian herbs. Then we put Salt. Quinoa. Yeah, quinoa. Then we put salt. Yeah. Then we put the cheese. Yeah, and so we've got quinoa, cheese, herbs and everything. So we've done all the mixy, mixy, mixy. 
So we've always got quinoa in the fridge, haven't we? Yeah. So you can mix quinoa into anything, but especially if you want to make a quinoa crust pizza, you can have a pizza in no time, especially if you're at home and you can't get out. This is the easiest way to make a quick pizza, which is gluten-free. Gluten-free, who's gluten-free? Yay! <laughs> okay, right, so we've got our tray here and we're gonna pop that on here. And then it's like a little mountain. It looks like a, like like someone done a poo, but it's not poo. Oh, it's not a poo poo, no. <coughs> no, it's not a poo poo. Um, so we're gonna squash that out, and we want to make a circular. So do you want to do it together with me? Yeah. So we we'll hold the tray so it doesn't move. So what shape is a pizza? It is round. Yes, you and could have flat. a and it's flat. Yeah. So we're gonna pat that out, and I think that's. That's nearly where we want it to be. So we're flattening it out. And then we're gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes on one side, and then we're gonna flip it over for another further 10 minutes. And then we're gonna add a tomato sauce, and then we're gonna add mushrooms, and we're gonna add some more cheese. So I think that's it now. So I'm gonna let go of that, and I'm just gonna push in the edges here. So it's all nice and even. Do you like crusts, Ori? Yeah. What do you like? Not that pizza? much. Not, you leave the crusts? Sometimes. Sometimes. Do you have pizza in school? Never. Never? Yeah. Ah, oh, so we're going to have pizza later. Who are we going to make this pizza for? Jamie. Jamie, yeah, he loves pizza. And then in our next video, what are we going to be making? We're going to make cookies cookies we're gonna make lovely cookies and who are the cookies for for my mom yeah so isn't it lovely to make things for people that you love yeah yeah it's special because what we're going to put in the cookies as well as the mixture we're going to put lots of love in there so when mommy tastes the cookies she's going to love them even more because she put so much love in there okay so now we look that's super done. flat super flat and that we're gonna you stay there Ori. you say hi to anyone Hi guys, who are you? Sorry, I don't know. Pop that in there for 20 minutes. But you can tell already, everyone, we've got one we've already made. We've got one that's already made, but we haven't, like, the pizza's not, like, in it. So we're going to finish making it. So here's one we made earlier. Can you show everyone? Yeah, brilliant. And now on here, Ori, what you're going to do is the fun part. Ah. You're going to add, we've got tomato sauce here. So we only need to put like two spoons in the middle. Go in the middle. Oh, it's fat. It's got a lot in it, you mean. Okay, another one. Right in the middle. And now, just gently, because we want to leave, yeah, that's it, really slowly, you want to leave like a quarter of an inch around the edge with no sauce. Can you see if you can do that? Do you think you need a bit more sauce? Yeah. A little bit more? Here, put some more in there. Wow, Here. it's a fat. Yeah, Whoa. there. Okay, now gently, I'm going to hold your hand. We're going to go together like that. It smells nice already. Yeah, that's brilliant. What does it smell like? It smells like real tomato sauce. Yeah, so we've made a fresh tomato sauce here. But if you have at home any chopped tomato cans, you can use that. Okay. Okay. Oops. Okay. So that's that. Now we're going to add more cheese. More cheese. I'm going to give you some cheese to add. And then you can sprinkle that on top. So we're using fresh mozzarella cheese here, but you can use vegan cheese if yes. you're vegan. Yeah, or if you're dairy free, some people are dairy free and they can't have any cheese, so they can have a uh, vegan cheese. Okay, so now Ori, you can sprinkle all the cheese on top of the pizza, on the tomato bit. It's sticky a bit. Yeah, and then all around, so that you've got cheese everywhere. 
handle. Make sure you go right around here too. But you can use this. You can don't you don't need to touch it, Ori, because you're gonna get sticky hands. Just like that. But it's okay to have sticky hands. Yeah. Because what do you do when your hands are sticky? You need to wash them. Yeah, so a tiny bit more. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some mushrooms. Mushrooms? I like mushrooms. Okay, so you sprinkle these on. So these are the mushrooms here. They're shiitake mushrooms. And we fry them over first. And then, Ori, you're going to sprinkle them all over. So I'll put them like in the dead fish. Dead fish. Okay, so pop those over. So sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Gently. Very gentle. Okay. You can use your hand if you want so that you get them all out neatly. Okay, that's nearly done. So then we're going to put this in the oven to cook for 10 minutes. Make sure you get every little morsel out. Okay, oops, so we don't need to push it anymore because otherwise it would look all messy. So we can just push that out like that. And then we're going to bake this in the oven for how long? 10 minutes. minutes. So we'll be back after it's cooked and we're now on our next video. What are we going to make? Cookies. Cookies. So they're called Nature's Charm Cookies. So if you've enjoyed watching this video, make sure you log back in in a minute because we're making Nature's Charm Cookies. Anyway. So bye everyone. We just add, added the basil on the pizza. And now you're going to enjoy it? Yeah.